Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, string comparison operators. And in the previous video, we finished with string comparison operator, that is CA. CA stands for contains any. Now we will move on to our next string comparison operator, that is NA. NA stands for contains not any. So it is just not of CA. If you remember, when we cover CO, we have a not of CO, that is CN. Now we cover CA and similarly we have a not of CA, that is NA. NA means contains not any. And same to same. Whatever is true for CA, it is false for NA. Whatever is false for CA, it is true for NA. And yes, this string comparison operator also also take case sensitiveness into consideration. Whatever the value of system variable psi fdpos we are getting in true for CA. Here we will get in false for NA. Whatever the system variable value we are getting in case of false for CA, here we will get in true for NA because it is just not of CA. So whatever is true for CA, it is false for NA. Whatever is false for CA, it is true for NA. Now whatever we will do, whatever the scenarios I covered for CA, now same to same scenarios I will cover for NA so that the picture will be clear in your mind. Now I will go for the system. I will comment this logic. I will make control C. You all know if you want to comment control plus comma. I will just paste and rather than C A, I will go for N A. Contains not any. Now if you remember what the first scenario we took. I took the password test at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I will compare first string and second string. I will activate the program. Now if you see what is your first string test at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. What is your second string 0, 2, 9. Now we are checking that first string should not contain anything which is in string 2. But yes, but 1, 2, 3, 4 of first string, it is in second string. So system will go to which particular part, else part, contains not any. It is contains not any, but it is containing. So we will get which result we will get the else result system will simply simply go for else part. I will put a breakpoint and show you in that deeper input. Not word is itself explanatory contains not any. Any character of V1 should not be in V2. Now if this is your first string, first string, this is your second string. We are checking if none of the character of string 1, it is in V2 of, or it is in string 2, then we will get a true result. But here the 1, 2, 3, 4 of first string, it is in second string. So system will simply simply go for which part else part. So if I will do F6, you can see I entered into the else part. And what is the value of the system variable 5, 5. If I will read the theory, whenever we will get the false result, it will return the position or offset of first character of V1 that is matching in V2. And what is the position? 
जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो वट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ वन फर्स्ट मैचिंग कैरेक्टर इट इज फाइव इफ यू रिमेम्बर वेन वी कवर सी ए एट दैट टाइम वी गॉट वेन द रिजल्ट इज ट्रू here we are getting when the result is false because it is just not of c a now we will come on to the next scenario but the but the next scenario i covered so we have now i am taking the password test at the rate a b c d my first string value is test at the rate a b c d now none of the character of string 1 it is in string 2 it means this if condition is true first string has those characters which are not in the string 2 none of the character of string 1 it is in string 2 so i will get a true result contains not any so none of the character of string 1 it is in string 2 so this is your first string this is your second string and none of the character is in string 2 so i will get a true result and you can see what is the value of the system variable it is 10 it will return the length of the string 1 if we are getting a true result we will get the length of the string 1 Just opposite. Just note here we got the result in false. Here we are getting the result in true. Now I will simply simply execute. And now we will go for case sensitiveness also into consideration. Now rather than string two, I will take string three here. Now we have the string one. test at the rate a b c d and what is string 3 it is a to z in capital t is matching t is matching so we have at least one matching character but we are checking for not that it should not there should not be any single character of v1 which is in v2 so again system will go for which part else part now if i will show you in that debugging mode just opposite of ca now this is your first string and this is your second string we are checking that if none of the character of string 1 it is in string 2 we will get a true result but we have one matching character that is t so system will go for which part else part and we are getting what we are getting zero zero we what is zero if i will go here whenever we are getting the false result position or offset of first character of v1 that is in v2 and what is the position of t offset of t it is zero now i will go for fourth scenario which we covered now here i will put t in small contains not any now if i will execute in the and show you in the debugging mode i will go for desktop 3 you can see this is our first string and this is our second string yes if we will not take case sensitiveness into consideration test it is here because t e s t is here a b c d is here but this string comparison operator take case sensitiveness into consideration so none of the character is matching between these two things none of the character of string 1 it is in b2 and uh, it, it is in string 2 and we are checking not any not any there should not be any matching thing between these two strings okay so in that is we will get a true result and you can see it will return the length of the string 1 
and what is the length of the string one? It is 10. So now we have the expected result. So what is the summary of this particular video? Now in this video, we covered the string comparison operator that is NA. NA stands for contains not any. It is not of CA. It means whatever is true for CA, it is false for NA. Whatever is false for CA, it is true for NA. And yes, we just saw that it is also taking case sensitiveness into consideration. Whatever the scenarios we covered for CA, we covered the same to same scenarios for NA. And we saw the value of the system variable in the system also. We saw the value of this particular system variable, psi FTPOS. Now, in the next video, we will go for again further more string comparison operators. So, that's it in this particular video. Thank you.